the initiation uh, was, uh, so Prabhupada asked me that I should invite my mother to come. So I did and she came. My father wouldn't come, but she came. And again she sat on the chair and we had the fire sacrifice and and then uh, so at the end of course when Prabhupada gave the beads and then uh, so I bowed down to him and uh, then Prabhupada said no you bow down to your mother so I turned and I got down and I bowed down and of course I said the mantra of obeisance is to Prabhupada but my mother, you know, was quite, she felt quite uncomfortable having her son bowing down at her feet. And then Prabhupada instructed me that uh, whenever you see your mother, you bow down to her. You offer obeisances. And uh, I used to do that. When I, sometimes I would go home and visit them. They lived in Connecticut. Once I went there to distribute books to all uh, our family friends. Uh, so I would, you know, uh, ring the doorbell and, uh, you know, my mother would open the door and there was nobody there, but there I was <laughs> on the ground offering obeisances. And so, uh, So uh, she didn't like it, of course, but actually it was Prabhupada's instruction and we did it. And uh, we felt closer to Prabhupada following. And of course the attachment, the you know mother-son family attachment was kind of dissipated by that. It made the relationship more formal. So it was a nice instruction. At the initiation, he said in our name, but I was afraid at the initiation. I kind of knew that it meant that I'd have to be surrendering. We didn't really know what was we were in for. There was no great movement at the time. As I say, there was 12, 14, 16 people around. And he, Prabhupada was very kind and we were eating and chanting and no bowing down, no head shaving. A lot of fun. He was like our father. This great Swami sitting in our midst. Uh, people were still coming off LSD trips in the early morning kirtans as part of the whole scene. They'd have all night trips and the best place to go for, go to the Krishna temple, chant, get even if it was a bummer trip, and they'd give you breakfast. So people were coming around. And so uh, <coughs> Prabhupada, at my initiation, there were all sorts of freaks. There's uh, the temple was smoking like anything because Janaki brought fruit box wood, it pulped wood instead of real wood, you know, fruit box. And we had ghee instead of butter, so it like sputtered and smoked all over the place. I'm fr afraid my old jazz friends are coming into the place I was living and saying, don't get initiated, stay with us. Some Christian shows up saying that this is all, uh, what do they call it, paganism. And I shouldn't do it. And he's arguing with me and I'm kind of being swayed. And the next day, the day of initiation, actually it started off, Jamuna had actually asked me to marry her in Golden Gate Park. And we weren't sure who, we had a number of people who could have married us, but we said we would really like the Swami to do it. So we asked him, would you marry us? And he said, first you must become initiated. So I said, when do you want us to become initiated? And he said, tomorrow. Another one of those reading the mind things, because I knew that in, inside, in, uh, viscerally, intrinsically, I knew that it meant surrender. <clears throat> so, the tomorrow came and I had still been hanging out with my other friends and they were in the temple and I was calling I'm coming and then I'd say I don't want to do it and it was like up to the time 
they weren't sure if I was going to show. So finally I show, Jamun is there, we're stringing the beads up to the time, getting fruit box wood, getting ghee for the, instead of, uh, made out of margarine. And three of us, four of us were getting initiated. Shamadasi. Then there was another woman who had a child. Was that at the wedding? No, I think it was at the initiation. There was a child and, his, and the woman was really a space cadet. She was one of the people I think who wanted to marry Prabhupada. And the child's head kept on hitting the floor, bonk, bonk, during the initiation. Prabhupada said his name would be Kaviraj. And he said, will be strong, strong baby. Because he saw his, and he said to the mother, lift him up. So he gives me an R name, and then he says, no, you will be Gurudas. Which was great because I was so frightened at the time that I didn't hear my name anyway. Plus I was photographing it all. I was the Yiskan photographer. And people were on all sorts of psychotropics in the fires there and, and at our wedding. And uh, so, I mean, at our initiation. So then I say to Prabhupada, when would you like us to get married? And he said, tomorrow. So it's the same thing. He didn't want to give me time to think too much. When I did join, I joined just a matter of weeks before Srila Prabhupada arrived. So I'd been doing work, fixing up the temple, fixing up Sankirtan vans, and doing all sorts of work. And when the, Srila Prabhupada was due to arrive, they rented an apartment for him on Ashbury Street, I believe. And um, they told me, quick, Narno, and you have to do something and build an altar for Srila Prabhupada. So I actually went and I took pieces of wood and turned, turned turnings, and I made an altar for Srila Prabhupada. Very simple, but altar, uh, decorated it. So when Srila Prabhupada came, there was an altar, and he asked, who is building this altar? And they said, Narada Narayan. He said, oh, bring him here. Uh, actually, I wasn't named Narada Narayan, I wasn't initiated. He's Nathan, he's Nathan Baruch. So he, I came, and he uh, approved. Actually, but before that time, I'd written a letter to Srila Prabhupada, and he had responded to me with my karmi name before he actually came to Los Angeles. I wrote and said, I wanted to serve Krishna in every way possible. And he wrote back and said, My dear Nathan Brooke, this is a very rare manifestation. I think you were a devotee in your previous life. To begin your service, wanting to serve Krishna in every way possible means you have done devotional service before. He said, So please continue to do that, chant your rounds, uh, do these services, carve deities. And he gave me actually these blessings through his very first letter, which was a letter which in itself was enough to keep me going for a lifetime. 